there's a variety of different techniques to catch flathead. I've teamed up with Greg Reed for one style that works a treat. Watch your net, hit the net. I'd like the look of that soft vibe. You don't Whoa, have to get straight up. Straight in. You don't have to get up early for flathead, do you? <laughs> no. No, not at all. Of course, soft plasticking for flatheads been around a heck of a long time now, but uh, these soft vibes are a really fantastic idea. So they're doing a similar thing to what a metal blade would do where they're putting out that vibration, but they have that soft body. So, uh, so when a flathead comes along and he goes to eat it uh, and he grabs hold of it, it feels a little bit more natural. There we go. So big long cast is, is what it's all about, Greg, as far as these soft vibes go. We want to cover as much ground as we can with each cast. How do you go when you, I know you have clients out here at times, how do you go with people casting? Yeah, just just a couple of basic fundamentals. You can see Guesty and I here really close together. And the last thing I want to do is whack old mate in the back of the head with a lure. So the first thing I'm going to do is get my feet, my shoulders facing in the direction that I want to cast. We pull the line right back into the reel like this, and the rod's just going to go straight past my right ear and straight out. Now you can't see that, but that lure's just been fired out at least 30 metres. And the more distance you cover, the more chance you've got of catching a fish. Oh, you got one? Yeah, that's a little one, mate. Good one or what? Uh, not too bad, not too big, not too small. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just right. in case we've got one in the lip. All right. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh. Oh, there so you go, fella. On the soft vibe. He's got it right, look at that. Right underneath. Right underneath. So he's just laid on top of that one, you reckon, Greg? Yeah. He's a nice fish. You can see that, uh, that camouflage background. So they're sitting amongst the weed and the sand patches, you think? Yeah, we've got an edge here where the, the weed just sort of meanders in and out. Patches of weed, patches of sand. They're sitting in those edges. The tailor have pushed the bait up in close. They've been chopping up the bait, and these things will be just sitting underneath a natural burly trough. Isn't it amazing how different fish like different colours? And uh, Flathead are such big fans of chartreuse, that bright green. And also this colour here, which is this bright pink colour. They love pink. Get that out. It is one of their favourite colours, isn't it? Look at that. Absolutely. And of course that reds and pinks look a little bit different underwater, but there you go. Have a nice one. We still haven't cracked that big girl, so it's time for a move. Got him. Nice little bloke. He's just wrapped up in the in amongst the weed, this fella, just hopping the hopping that vibe around through the weed. Vibes work just as well in that nice shallow water as well. Top vibes come in a range of colours and uh, different weights, so you can see there's one that pretty well match the hatch no matter where you're fishing. I'm using this chartreuse one now and you're still on the hot pink colour, so tackle wise, pretty much identical to fishing any soft plastic for a flathead really, isn't it? It's that two to six kilo, three to six kilo rod, fast action, what do you got there mate? Yeah, three to six kilo, two and a half thousand size reel, eight pound braid. Pretty much the same, eight pound braid. We're using 10 pound leader if you're new at, uh, at this style of fishing and, you, and uh, you're a little bit dubious on your drag settings, maybe some 15 pound leader. Fluorocarbon's always really good, uh, it's tough, it's good for flatheads mouths and uh, it, it doesn't wear through really quickly. It's, uh, it's very durable. Double uni knot, make sure you get your knot right. Check that uh, as you go along and just probably a rod length of lead is generally enough. Get out there with this bloke if you get a chance if you're down here with, uh, with Greg Reed from Bay and Basin Sport Fishing. Um, I know when I first started rallying, I went and got some lessons to improve my rallying and uh, you can't pick up a cricket bat and go and play for Australia. If you want to be a good fisherman, you need to get in with blokes like this to really learn your art. Flathead kept coming, and just when I thought we were going to miss out on a big lizard, Rudy's rod loads up. I'm just going to keep the pressure on this and not actually go straight into the lift wall. And, oh yes, yeah, a better fish. There's a better fish. All you got to do for the kids at home is keep the bend in the rod. Really important, if you get any slack in your line at this point in time, you're going to lose the fish of a lifetime. We'll just wind down to the water, we'll lift up. You can see that reel the whole way through this is actually just ticking over. Uh, because we're only using 10 pound litre, you just don't want to lock it up. You want to be able to give a little bit. It's important to lunge, lunge with the fish, isn't it? The fish yeah, wants to absolutely. go, nice soft yeah. hands, and just let that rod yeah. do its work. Yeah. Looks like a good fish, mate. This is a good one. Just get one hand on the electric there, and I'll actually just... That looks nice, mate. I'll actually just kick that bow up into the breeze. And we use the electric there, and I'll just put it on the autopilot, so hopefully the bow will just come up into the breeze here. Here we go, Guesty. Oh, nice one, mate. You got your big net there, mate? Yeah, I might get the bigger net, I think. 
Oh, I hope you got that on film because it was right up near the surface. <laughs> oh, there it, it is, mate. It ain't over until your flathead's in the net, mate. No, definitely not. That's a nice fish, buddy. That's a nice fish. Oh, oh big head shake. Everyone's still as exciting yeah, as the first. Yeah, look at that. I think we're going to get this, mate. <laughs> Just leave her in the water for a second, matey. Yeah, wow. That's, Ooh, that's did she spit that out? Oh, spat that she spat out. it out too. Wow. Woo. All right, that's a cracking fish. Oh. All right, you got that net there. Thanks, matey. Wow. Support a belly Support there. The belly. That's what we need to. Still got a lot of kick to it. It has. Oh, that's bigger than I thought, mate. So 82 centimetres. 82 is pretty good, mate. That's very respectable. Probably up around that. Oh, four kilo mark, I reckon. You go pretty close. Good, really good condition. Yeah, getting close to that 10. Really pound. good condition. And she's, uh, she's certainly jumping around. That's a sensational fish, mate. <laughs> Great fish, trophy fish. Well done, champion. Well, time to let it go. Oh, you got the glove on there? Yeah, I do. And look, just for the viewers at home with these big girls, really important, use an orange glove. If you can, don't use lip grips. Lip grips really have the ability to actually pierce the bottom jaw of the flathead, which is no good if you want to release them or when you release them, because you should. They're big girls. Okay, we should really see this fish swim away. You can see that she's just really biting down on my thumb. It's not hurting through the glove at all. You wouldn't try this without a glove though. There you go, look at that big bite down there now. She's ready to go. Kick of the tail. Look at that, and she's swimming off beautifully. See you later, girl. See you next time. Fantastic. <laughs> very well happy, done, mate. mate. Very happy, it's been very a great happy. day. Time for me to go home. What a day, and to top it off, a ripper at 82 centimetres.